Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Let us read this Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. Let's read this word of God. Colossians chapter 3 chapter 2 verse 13 to 15. and when you were dead in trespasses and uncircumcision of your flesh god made you alive together with him when he forgave us all our trespasses verse 14 erasing the record that stood against us with its legal demands he set this aside nailing it to the cross was 15 he disarmed the rulers and authorities and made a public example of them triumphing over them in it praise the lord praise the lord let's put together 13 and 14 together the word of god says something the word of god says saint paul spoke to the colossians when you were dead in trespasses and uncircumcision of your flesh when we were dead in trespasses every one who commits sin is dead spiritually dead means no life in them no reaction no response unable to do anything unable even to lift the finger unable even to open the eyes that is called dead unable even to breathe that is called dead spiritually dead means though you are moving around physically spiritually there is no power at all god cannot intervene no connection with god no miracles no healings no deliverance nothing so that is why anybody who commits sin especially these sins of the flesh they are spiritually dead unless they repent and go for confession and reconcile with god and be holy until they make them themselves holy they will be spiritually dead but god made you alive together with him when he forgave us all our trespasses and he says erasing the record that stood against us with its legal demands that means and anyone who commits sin there is a record of our sins which will be against us with the legal demands that means legal demands means the evil has authority on us when we commit sin there is a legal demand from the part of the evil one on us when we commit sin that's what happened to moses moses when moses died the devil demanded his body because there are some mistakes that moses committed when he was alive therefore devil satan demanded his body because there is a legal demand but what did jesus do jesus erased the record that stood against us with its legal demands jesus with his precious blood erased it and therefore anyone you are united to who are united to christ there is no more evil has authority on you he has jesus has erased the record of past sins every consequence even the legal demands of the evil one on us everything will be erased everything is erased by the precious blood of jesus now you must be wondering whether your record is erased or not my record is erased or not all my past sins the sins of the flesh is it raised or not in order to understand whether it is raised or not i don't need to go back to my life and check i just need to check now am i connected to jesus am i obedient to jesus am i united to christ am i repenting of all my sins and be united to christ and holy then jesus has raised it all those are you, that is why romans 8:1 romans 8:1 we read like this romans 8:1 the word of god says there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in christ jesus united to christ 
therefore there is no condemnation for those who are united to christ those who are in christ jesus those who are united how do you know whether you are united are you into any addiction any wrong relationship addicted to the desires of the flesh then we are not at united to christ addicted to flesh addicted to drinking smoking drugs and drinks and a wrong relationship unholy relationship fornication adultery and self abuse and all kinds of unholy relationship are you are we are we having unforgiveness hatred revenge stealing lying these are all clear sign that we are not at united to christ we have to give it up completely and be holy only then and be united to christ then and only then will be united to christ praise the lord praise the lord